What's up guys? Welcome to Blake's Garage. Today we're jumping in to the 4Runner. Now I just picked up this new box from Costco and they made it in a new color. So I'm kind of like torn on whether I keep the gray just because the 4Runner is, you know, gray or whatever. But I like the flat dark earth. I think it looks pretty dang sweet. I don't know. But maybe this looks too tactical i'm not sure more thievery basically is what i'm saying if it looks this color um either way someone's gonna jack this stuff but i wanted to just kind of go through what i had back here uh, kind of my little emergency kit if you will uh, i got some grease right here and these things are so sick i think they're 50 bucks from costco uh, i got a little charger for my bofang radios and this one i had just these little tabs for my little window situations, which when I'm going camping or whatever, I put them in the front. So I just kept them in there. Permatex Ultra Gay <laughs> Gray Gasket Maker. And then I have two Miller gloves. These are good, they just come in handy. Uh, I got the little gas nozzle for that guy right there. And I have my other gas nozzle. Got some WD-40, a little hazard light, electrical tape, um, a little filler right here, wire strippers, some channel locks, Klein, obviously, uh, some Pittsburgh little Allens, the Torx driver right here, and then I have the regular uh, standard Allens as well, along with two crescent wrenches, which is good to have. Um, this is really nice because it just pops out. Then I keep a half inch Milwaukee uh, impact driver right here which I do not carry impact bits, but I do have a full half inch impact kit right here. I'm also keeping the M18 inflator right here and a full Ironman 4x4 off-road recovery kit, which has a few extra items in it, like a couple of these Badlands little shackles. Also, I got these two chairs, which I love because they're super compact. Um, I do have some cables for my locks. I got an ax right here, a shovel right there. Um, what else is in here? Glue tread, super awesome. If you get a gash in your sidewall, this will take care of it, which you are gonna need on the trails. I got duct tape, which you need. Brake cleaner, um, little grease gun, a bunch of fittings, and then ARB speedy repair kit right down there. A couple of zip ties and a little mallet which can come in handy as well. So that is my first little case there. And I'm kind of curious, should I swap it out to the brown one? I may do it, don't know. All right, so for pack number two right here, this one's a little bit more basic and I have room for expansion. Uh, we got just some little hand warmers in case it gets cold or you're out hiking or hunting. I got a bunch of trash bags right here, which I also have trash bags on my little trash roo on the back. This one has a whole lot of nothing in it. Also empty, so future expansion on that one. I have a whole kind of makeshift first aid kit, if you will, right here, which is cool. Um, lots of first aid stuff. Also have like a full cation, I don't know how to say that, drinking water filter. So that's a whole pump filter in case I need water. You know, we can pump that into whatever we need to and drink right out of the creek or whatever. I got this little radio situation, emergency bandage, uh, trauma wound. Got some more um, cold compress. What we got here? We got a survival blanket, of course. Um, some Tegaderm film. This stuff's really good. You can cut it out and make a nice bandage. Potassium iodine tablets in case of a nuclear strike. These are good to have, seriously. Never know when freaking you're gonna get nuked. And if you don't have them, you're dead very quickly. Uh, we got some matches here. I got this nice little emergency survival guide and uh, some, looks like some hand sanitizer in there as well. Okay, so enough for that. Let's put this back in here. On this guy, I have the Go Girl for my weenus. Um, yeah, this thing's rad. Actually, I've not used it. Neither has my wife. It's not for your wiener. It is a wiener. It is a wiener. 
It's a Schweena. It's a Schweena. This right here I use for my inflator under the hood, uh, which I have an Outback Air system underneath the hood. Here is my hose for that as well. Um, and then I got that little blower there. Other things I have in here is a little Patagonia rain fly for my wife. Uh, Patagonia rain fly slash jacket for me. I have some of these little pants I bought at Costco, have not used them yet. Uh, they're supposed to kind of be water resistant. So that's like if it's pouring down rain and crazy, uh, I don't have to wear rain pants, those should work. And then I got this nice little towel, which is pretty sweet. So um, yeah, pretty prepared, I think, back here. Also keep some binoculars, a nice little um, mat, another ax, another first aid kit that's a little quicker to get to, easily accessible. I will eventually get some molly panels, throw that back there. But for now it's good, cut some paper towels, um, a gold pan, cause you never know when you're gonna start prospecting. And yeah, that's my uh, EDCC everyday car carry in the back of the 4Runner. I have a bunch of stuff up front, so if you guys are interested in seeing what I keep in the front of the car, um, I can show you that in another video. Let me know down below, leave a link, drop a like. Later guys, and wrench on. <laughs>